Biden has been arming, funding the Israeli war effort, despite the fact Biden himself has said that the Israelis are indiscriminately bombing Gaza. Biden has circumvented Congress twice in getting uh, arms and weapons to Israel faster and not allowing Congress to be able to weigh in on it. Uh, and this is done knowing quite well that the Israelis are using 2,000 pound bombs that are supposed to be used against bunkers and using them against apartment buildings, killing everything within a 300 uh, yard uh, radius. That is the very definition of indiscriminate bombings. The U.S. is well aware that the AI that the Israelis are using is such that it actually targets very, very low level suspected Hamas officials, not when they're out uh, uh, in Gaza, but when they're actually at home sleeping at night in the apartments with their children, including everyone else in that same apartment building and on that block that will also be killed based on a suspicion that this very low level person may actually have something to do with Hamas. Biden has done nothing to put a stop to this. On top of that, he has blocked three UN resolutions that demanded either a ceasefire or a humanitarian pause. The fourth one that he allowed to pass, he turned around immediately and undermined by falsely claiming that it was not legally binding. On top of that, we also saw that the Biden administration used a fourth veto to prevent the recognition and the membership of the Palestinians into the UN as a full member state, showing that at least for the last two decades, the United States has not been serious about the two-state process, the peace process actually leading to um, um, uh, a two-state solution and a Palestinian state.